Hello, beautiful souls. I promise that the readings have not changed. <laughs> I just had um, some things that I wanted to talk about or announcements that I wanted to make. So I want to do one intro and just add it to all 12 instead of doing it 12 times. But if you're new, hello, my name is Amber. It's nice to meet you. If you're returning, thank you for being here and lending your energy to the channel. I appreciate it. Um, so if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Or when you get into the reading, it will be a website listed at the top of the screen that you can go to. So I wrote a workbook. <laughs> the workbook actually is to go with any professional reading that you receive, um, whether it could be your own, to be honest, um, it could be your own reading, um, it could be from me, or it could be from any other professional. But what brought this idea along was the fact that people get all this good information and they don't know what to do with it or how to apply it in a practical sense. So this book kind of makes it easy it's like a step-by-step -step guide so it starts off with um, how to choose your reader and what kind of readings there are and things like that and it moves on to what kind of what kind of questions to ask um, in order to get the answers that you deserve okay that you deserve or that are best for you what to do before the reading the day of the reading to help you and the reader out um, after the reading, a week after, and the month after, so on and so forth. So it, it, it is a workbook, so you can write things down in it. The thing that I like about it is I've had people test it out for me, and you can use that workbook as a reminder of what you've been through in case you hit another lesson that reminds you of this one. You can go through it and see the steps that you've taken and the things that you have learned. So that's one of the good things I like about it. Um, it also comes free for a limited time right now with any full reading that you purchase. If you choose so, you have the option to decline it if you want to. Um, or you can just go in and buy it if you want to just to have it. Uh, the links for that will be in the description box below. So you can just go right to that. Or you can go to the website. It should be a, a link on the front, on the home page of the website. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. I hope you like it. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> Oh, beautiful souls. <laughs> Let's see who's next in my little bag of goodies here. Um, Pisces. Pisces. Let's see what your runes are going to be. I already picked them out. All right, let me focus for a second. All right, Pisces, your intuition plays a big role in May. Um, your intuition, messages, things that you're getting um, are going to lead you where you need to go in May. You really need to pay attention to it. It helps you like live with some sort of... Honor or just... Like a just way of living. It's a good leader for you. Your intuition this month. Your intuition. Not your emotions. Because they're telling me to differentiate between the two. Your intuition. Okay. Which is probably something you may be not listening to or pushing to the side. Because there's something that you want more than that. And that's your emotions. Okay. 
All right, Pisces. So there is something that you have wanted very, very badly. And in your mind, you're creating this scenario of you getting this thing. So it might not necessarily be for you, but it's something that you desire. So you're trying to see, like you're making a mountain into a molehill but in a in a positive way for you like you're looking at it in a positive manner for you so it's not like you're not making it into like a negative situation but a positive situation for you it's time for you to really evaluate all the energy that you're putting into this because I I'm telling you it's emotional you're putting a lot of your emotional influence into pushing this thing into action. When really you need to listen to your intuition. I feel like intuitively you know something different. But because it's something that you want, you're kind of morphing that into what you want it to be. And it's so interesting because this realization is what's supposed to happen for you. It's kind of like the universe calling you to make a to expand your mind and do something different. Okay? Like there's a purpose for your intuition going against your emotions or your desires. You might not understand it now, but it's it's like to show you a different way. To help you live a life or be in a situation that's more happy for you. Happy for you, appropriate for you. Don't let your ego get in the way of your intuition in May. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor judgment the world Ooh, you have some strong cards seven of wands king of wands seven of swords strength in reverse page of wands in reverse i feel like this already feels emotional to me. Okay. <laughs> Eight of swords and then the two of pentacles in reverse. So, yeah. Uh, you're very idealistic in your love for whoever this is or whatever it is that you're focused on. So, you're very idealistic about love. Um, it feels very childish and very, uh, what's the word? surface okay even though you 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 want it to be deeper you think it's deeper but it's actually surface because it doesn't have any real staying power and it's not healthy for you to grow as an individual whatever this is um it's out of balance it's totally out of balance and that's why the two of pentacles are is there okay but you're trapped in that energy so it's about you seeing the secret seeing the truth and helping that lead you to justice which that's why i said that's your intuition that's your wisdom that's you gaining knowledge okay all right well, i guess i don't need to put a lid on it i mean what's gonna happen in the house but we start off with the six of pentacles so You've been giving something a lot of your attention or affection, okay? Um, you're either scared that it's going to end or it's already ended. And you're giving it a lot of your focus. You're very focused on it. You're driven on it. I mean, it's how you see your future. Or you... It's so interesting. <laughs> because it's not how you see your future, but you're living it. it it's become your future because of the... The power you've given it. 
okay? And you feel like you're taking control of a situation. You might have initiated something uh, or tried to start something back up. Um, but it's more because it's been on your mind so much. You've been stuck in this little cycle with it. So that was the next, that was the closest thing you knew to do for your own happiness. You needed to take, but the thing is your energy was like, I need to take control of my life or I need to make some changes. And because this is what's been on your mind or this is what you've been giving your energies to, this was the focus or this was the thing that you chose to do. It's not that it was the best thing to do. It's not that it was the right thing to do. It was just the thing that took your attention at that time. So you're back to being in whatever this is, this little internal or outside struggle, okay? Um, getting things off the ground, very passionate, probably back and forth, uh, up and down, unhealthy type of cycle, okay? Um, and what's so interesting is when you look at your life, when you were kind of having it in your mind and you thought that that was everything that you wanted, you were a lot happier not being in this situation than being in it. Really, when you really think about it, okay? Because I can see it here. It's like it was over, it was done. You were still fighting with the idea of it, but you're happier... You're happy, you're happier with it being done than being in whatever this is, okay? Honestly. So you have a choice to make about how you want to go forward, okay? If you want to go with the old life, the old energy, the old drive, the old direction, and keep being the one to initiate this energy because you have a you have to choose whether or not to keep this in your life you have to choose whether or not to to keep this energy are you going to choose to keep going in this you know that's a big choice that you have to make for some of you you have been giving someone an opportunity to choose you and they have to choose Right, like you made that initiation to 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 get some change going. It's all it's interesting because it's almost like you know something is over or it has ended. But there's a feeling of still wanting to fight for something just to just to see why or figure out why and if it could be different but just needing to know just needing to finally know but this person that you're dealing with is they're busy looking at something else focusing on something else being with something else you're the one that's trapped in this they're not trapped in this anymore that's the big thing here is that they're not, they're just not trapped in it anymore, but you're idealizing the situation. Yeah. So soon you'll figure out that this is completely ended. And this is a weak part of you. This situation, this person, this is one of those things that, you know, it's just a weakness of yours. And you have to deal with having that weakness of whatever this is. And realizing that it's not going to start. I don't think that they want to start back up. I don't think that it's a good idea. I feel like your direction and their direction is different. And even if you got this physical connection that you want it could be sex you could have sex with this person especially with this fire energy the choice isn't going to be for you you know and that's why i said 
it's just whatever's happened is is just it's what should happen it's not ideally what you want to happen but it just is what it is okay so let's see about this initiation because I feel like the emperor is initiating something yeah initiating something because it's like um It, it's interesting because this person could have contacted you and said that they weren't happy without you. Okay. Um, you know, kind of like, let's see what happened. How did we fall apart? Kind of like they were feeling themselves or whatever. But when it came down to them making a choice on being confused on what to do, they decided that this was just superficial and they didn't want anything more than that right like maybe they figure you like them too much or you told them that like i was waiting on you or i cared about you and they as much as they think they were ready to hear that they are not ready to hear that they don't want to hear that and but that's not saying that you should stop and say what they want to hear you should express yourself because remember this is just not for you it's not you may think that you want it but you're not going to be happy okay yeah it's like time for you to realize that this thing is over you know it was a miscalculation that happened between you two or whatever um sometimes you just have to go back in just to see just so you can make the proper judgments just so you can see what could have happened but it's like you see that there is no future and this was just a mistake. Yeah, you're sure that this is a weakness of yours. It's like you know you need to let it go. And you think about the opportunities that you have missed waiting on this to happen. And it didn't even live up to your expectations. Okay. Yeah. It's like you're going to be searching for a new someone new. Um, it's so interesting because it's like you know that this isn't going anywhere. But there are so many options out there for you. There are so many people for you to choose. And now you're listening to your intuition about what direction to go in with those people. I feel like you're going to start dating around. It's like you know the truth about what this is now. And you can start expanding yourself. But be careful about just trying to fulfill an empty space. Do spend some time working on yourself now and closing out this energy, okay? Don't get other people stuck in, in this this kind of rut with you, thinking that you want more. Um, I just feel like you're going to find love in other places, but be careful that these people know that you don't want anything serious right now because you're clearing this up, okay? I feel like that's important to say. All right, Pisces.
by being transparent with yourself this may honestly pisces um you open up another door of enlightenment when it comes to love and yourself and a sense of freedom i feel a, a lightness from burdens being lifted because you were transparent with yourself and it's going to be hard okay you may shed a few tears it's not going to be easy to finally let something go but like the car says it's like you're nourishing oh that's bread i don't know why i thought that was a cat <laughs> you're nourishing your soul okay this is I'm telling you, someone's going to come in and you think something is happening with this situation and they are not what they seem to be. Okay, so be really careful with that. Um, obviously, be really careful with that. Act as if, um, this is my fake it till you make it card. Um, basically, Listen to your intuition. Make sure that you're paying attention to your intuition. Um, your feelings are valid, yes, but what have your feelings brought to you? How has it guided you? What has it given you? That's what you need to pay attention to, is that. What has it shown you? Where has it led you? And you want something different you want to see. You don't want to be stubborn like a bull. You want to be flowy like the water that you are. And even though this is hard, it is building a stronger you. It's building a more stable you to have success in the future. So don't go replacing that negative energy with something else negative okay um and what they mean by that is don't go replacing this person with another person just to fulfill that gaping open wound you want to actually heal it before you move on okay and for advice spirit of air is about wisdom knowledge understanding you're gaining some sort of wisdom Okay, sevens, sevens are all about uh, wisdom. It's about spiritual enlightenment. It's about the moment that things open up for you. That's what that number means to me. And it takes patience and it takes uh, love and kindness of yourself and trust in spirit and trust in universal energy to do what's right for you. Sorry, I don't know why this is bothering me so much. I got to change it because if I don't, I'm going to stare at it the whole time. Um, so it's like the universe is opening up a new door for you by closing something that should have been closed. Okay. Rock of Jehovah. Let me look something up because they just said something to me and I don't know what it is. Okay, so they all told me to look up the Rock of Gibraltar, J the Rock of Gibraltar. Okay, so this rock is, it symbolizes, it's a st symbol of strength and resilience. So if you want to look up more things about it, I would do that. But um, they did bring that to my attention. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you that. 
but you can do your own research if you want. I'm going to leave it here. So thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you, Pisces. And I will see you for the mid-months. I love you and bye-bye.